So the best thing about Love's is you can just walk in there, grab a quick coffee, and then hit the road. And it's only two bucks compared to like a seven dollar latte at a coffee shop. The best thing about Love's, I have the best sleep of my life yeah. at Love's every time without fail. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We always sleep like a rock at a Love's. And we're gonna head straight to Winter Park um, just to try to beat this snowstorm. So here we go. to see you in pulling a trailer. <laughs> it's like spaghetti. <laughs> Not what we want to see. G lot. The G lot. Because we're G's. Because we're what? G's. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Home sweet home. That's what it's all about right here. You got three or four inches last night. It's gonna continue to snow the rest of the day. The resort's right there. Not too bad. So the plan right now, um, we're just gonna work. And then during our lunch break, we're gonna go hit a couple runs and then we're gonna work a little bit more. And then after that, we'll hit a couple more runs. <laughs> uh, because we gotta take advantage of this beautiful storm and we're pumped up. Gonna grab a couple lunchtime laps. Look at all this snow. I think these conditions are quite nice, what do you say? <laughs> we had about an hour before we got meetings and stuff, so our lunch break isn't going to be very lunchy. how you do it right there one hour in and out from 12 to 1 we hit two lifts the powder was oh, it was amazing we got like what was it how many inches did we get in the past like eight eight inches just this morning so we had to go hit it uh, and we're gonna work for the rest of the night and then we might try to go tomorrow morning early too so we'll see oh my goodness a bluebird day it snowed probably another five inches overnight and we got these early bird passes so we can get a couple laps in before work. Let's do it. Mandatory coffees before work. Let's do it. I'm taking Goose for a walk and I thought I'd show you guys just kind of what the setup is here. So you can see this is the left side of the mountain. They call it the Mary Jane side. Supposedly that's where all the locals go. Um, there's the camper there and this is an upper part of G lot. So right down here is like the main parking lot. Um, I think it's free parking and there's a little shuttle that's actually just pulled up right there. It's probably like a four minute drive to the village base, but we can also walk from our campsite to the Cabriolet, probably a 10, 15 minute walk. Um, so, I mean, it's super accessible, like probably could not be a better spot. Security says that you can only stay here for three nights, um, but I talked to one of the security guards and uh, basically when we drove up here, there was a huge snowstorm coming and I didn't want to be that guy driving on 70 with a trailer, you know, slipping and sliding around. So I was like, hey man, we're going to try to beat the storm. You know, do you mind if we just stay an extra night because we were planning on leaving Friday. All in all, this could not be a better spot and we're, I think we'll try to come back here at some point during March too. It's, it's pretty sweet.
How do we feel about Winter Park? I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Good mountain, good little town. We'll be back. Had to finish the day off with a little hideaway park brewery. We're about to pack up and leave. And this is for anybody who is gonna be camping here in Winter Park. This parking lot gets absolutely packed come Friday afternoon. This is the most cars we've seen so far. This is just spillage from that G lot over there. So all these campers over here, pretty much have already been here for the most part. Somebody actually just tried to pull up in this little spot right here a minute ago and he he was like, nope. Um, but yeah, like if you're gonna come camp out here, try to get here like Thursday night if you can, if you're gonna be here for the weekend because it gets crazy packed. Get the trailer all packed up, attach the truck. Goose and Lou are in here and we're saying bye to Winter Park. I think we'll try to come back probably at some point like this month. So this is March 1st and we'll come back um, and try to hit and try to camp out again because this was an awesome spot. We'd love it, love this mountain. And yeah, now we're gonna head uh, kind of near Breckenridge to an Airbnb and that's the plan. So that's it for this video. We're heading to Breckenridge this week where we're gonna be learning to ski as snowboarders. So we're really looking forward to that. We also have an Airbnb that we're gonna be hanging out with our friend Sophie. As always, the best way to support this little channel is to subscribe to the channel. So like this video, ask any questions in the comments that you want. We look forward to reading every single one of those, so don't hold back. Thank you for the support and we'll see you next week.